Hey guys, Wayback Rewind here. Welcome to part three of my series on transfer of video from camcorder to computer. Today I'm going to be looking at transfer from an HDMI video capture card into the computer. The video capture card uses a piece of software called OBS. I'm sure some of you have heard of it. It's primarily used by the gaming community to record gameplay and live stream it. Today we're going to be using it just specifically to record from this capture card. The beauty of this capture card is that it has an HDMI in and an HDMI out. And what that's going to allow us to do is to take an HDMI output from this camcorder. Today I'm using the HDR UX5. It has this full size HDMI port which allows me to feed that into the capture card and into the computer through this interface. The output of the capture card is a USB port that goes directly into the computer. We're going to install the OBS software. Just pick all the defaults, let it install. I'm going to optimize this for recording. 1920 by 1080, output 1920 by 1080. Now we need to connect the capture card. HDMI capture card has a USB output and a pass through for HDMI in and out. We're only gonna need the input here. The output would be if we're going to a TV, we're not gonna connect a TV in this step. Install this a video capture device. Okay. We select USB video. Say okay. Everything that's on the camera is now coming through the HDMI through the capture card is now on the software. I'm ready to start recording. All I have to do is come up here and say start recording. And then I can press play. And it's showing some video that I recorded a couple days ago at the outdoor mall. Is that real fire? Making yeah. real heat. Oh, yeah. Wow. It makes you feel the heat from out here. It's like open on this side. I'm going to stop this now. All I have to do is hit stop recording. I'm going to stop the player. The capture that I just made is here in my videos folder with an MKV extension. What I understand, the software wants you to put everything in MKV, but you can change it to MP4. It's pretty much exactly the same thing. Okay, so you saw how the HDMI capture card works. But you might be thinking, what if I don't have an HDMI output out of my camera? What if my camera is purely analog? How do I do that? Well, there is a way to work around that. Still use the HDMI capture card, and that's using an analog to HDMI converter. So it sounds a little kludgy, and it is, but it works. Let me just show you how that looks. So if all your camera has is the standard analog output with the proprietary jack on one end, you can plug that into the camera. And then on the analog side, this analog to HDMI converter, it will have an HDMI out that can go into the HDMI video capture card. 
Let me just show you how that works. So for the purpose of this example, I'll disconnect this HDMI output and pretend like it doesn't exist. Close that up. Then we'll connect a proprietary Sony cable into here for the audio and video. I can take the output from the camera and plug it into the HDMI converter. I've got this USB, which is just for power, to power this converter. And then the HDMI that I earlier had connected to the camera will plug in here. Plug the USB in just for power. So I neaten up the wires a little bit and they're all different colors. So hopefully you can see what's happening here. The input to the converter is coming from the camera out of its proprietary analog cable and it's going in as the traditional yellow for video, white and red for audio. That can, gets converted in HDMI. The white is just providing power to the analog to HDMI converter. The HDMI cable comes out and goes into the HDMI capture card. The blue USB comes out of the capture card and goes back into the computer. That's what's going to the screen. And that's how we're getting the video. This looks kind of kludgy but it's actually super reliable using the OBS as the recorder. Whatever shows up on the camera will show up on the screen. I can press play. I can hit start recording. So now whatever is showing on the camera is coming out as analog. It's going into the analog to HDMI converter. It's going into the HDMI capture card. It's coming into the computer and it's being recorded. Real heat. Wow. It makes you feel the heat from out here. This will work with any camera that has analog outputs, which is virtually every camera ever made during the 80s and 90s. I didn't expect that. The weird outdoor mall. Not a lot of kids out here playing. Have <laughs> The 80s were all about indoor malls. Now it's like outdoor malls thing. Except, except, the, <laughs> except the, the weather here is never, is always too this hot. This is being captured at 60 like frames per second. CPU like usage is 6.9%. This is barely taxing the computer at all. This looks way nicer than Fairlands Outdoor Mall. I'm just gonna stop, I'm gonna stop recording. And I'm going to pause the camera. So now those files are on the computer. I can do whatever I need to do with them. I'm copying the files over to my SD card so I can put it into my editing computer. Now I've got the file. I can do whatever I need to do with it. And that's it. This is another way to capture analog video from a camcorder. Either if you happen to have a, a digital output through an HDMI, you can use this capture card. If you don't have an HDMI output from your camera, you can use this analog to HDMI converter. This will do a full 1080p upscaling. So from any analog source, you can get a 1080p upscale into HDMI, capture it at 1920 by 1080, and it's that simple. This is method number three. I will have a follow-up video with other methods that may not be quite as elaborate as this. So thanks for watching.